Pink hair. That's what I always wanted. I did it. I did it. Bretton Springer looks like a normal, happy, and healthy two-year-old, but a few months ago, she fell ill with a very high fever. Fortunately, her pediatrician saw warning signs and referred Bretton to the Children's Hospital at OU Medical Center, where tests revealed Bretton had a kidney stone. Her mother was shocked. I had seen it in adults. Um, you know, my father's had him a few times, and I've, like I said, I've had a really good friend that's had him several times, but never have I heard of them in a small child, especially of that age. A new study out of Texas shows kidney stones in kids increased about 12% per year over an eight-year period that ended in 2007. It's a trend seen by the pediatric urologist at OU Medicine, too. There are many reasons for this increase in stones that we find now. Um, some of this is better education and um, awareness by pediatricians and primary care providers who are picking up on the possibility of stones happening in children more often. St uh, a lot of children are, are less able to tell us exactly what kind of pain and what they're experiencing. Um, and so a better understanding that kidney stones are possible in these children is important for the diagnosis. Dr. Blake Palmer said factors that increase the risk of a child like Breton developing kidney stones include not consuming enough fluids, especially water, and a diet high in animal protein and sodium. One of the most common misconceptions is that it is true most stones are calcium-based stones, but the amount of calcium that's in your diet doesn't contribute to the amount of stones that you form. Um, calcium is very important for good, healthy bone development in children and is important in everybody's diet. Breton stone was removed without surgery. Palmer and his team used a technique involving sound waves to break up the stone into tiny sand-like particles so they could pass in her urine. But because children who've had one kidney stone are at greater risk of developing another, her parents plan to monitor her diet closely to try to keep that from happening. This is Teresa Green reporting.